There he is. Oh, you almost, you he almost, did. <laughs> you, you did it. You almost been tired, huh? Yeah. You came so late last night. Start last night, yeah. Wow. What, eight? Wow. It was a big day. I know. 16, 17, 18 hours or something like that. Wow. It was crazy. You did good on the farm. I heard Phyllis plugged. Oh, yeah, but that was. You, <laughs> she plugged pretty bad. I said, you, You're not here, and she got plugged like bad. <laughs> how'd you finally get her unplugged? Oh. So Jonah has to like hold her leg, yeah, and then I have to like try like my best. But something like tiny bit was there, yeah. But Josiah opened this first, and then we milk it. Then I got yes. again. It's he got um, clogged. Worse this time. Oh yeah. <coughs> the day before, I could say, okay, I'm going poly fish tomorrow, and you took over. That's good. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> That's different. Yeah. That's good. And you even face problems. Oh my gosh, really? Are they doing what I think they're doing? <laughs> They're rolling down the hill in a big pipe. Yeah. If you get in crouched, not laying this way, but somehow ball up right there, you'll go much faster. Ask okay. me how I know this. We've done this. We take our boots off. <laughs> Everybody, lay like Lily, front ways. Yeah, there you go. Ball up like I that. Okay, and it's a little heavy on that side. One of you big boys needs to go to the other side. There you go, Josiah. That's perfect. Get to the other side. Okay, you ready? How is it? <laughs> now everybody get out and run. 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 Come on. Get up and run. Run to a rune. Where's my boot? <laughs> Come on. Run. Oh, they're still going. <laughs> Looks like Fred's back bright and early. Fred, you can't leave any more pot. They make a toy out of it. <laughs> I took it up yonder if it'd been me. <laughs> yeah, it's a little slow down here. Yesterday I went to Polyface Farm. While I was there on my farm, grading was getting done. It's amazing what they've done just for me looking out my window. Let's get a closer look and see what's happened. They added a rock wall to the retaining wall there. They've added wood chips to our loafing area. You guys have already seen that we filled in our pole barn with wood chips for the animals. That was the day before yesterday. But right outside the pole barn they've gotten some gravel down for our access for hay. Gonna finish that here. Gonna do an access gravel access road here. Hey Teddy! Hey Teddy! How are you doing? He was so excited. <laughs> I don't think the excitement's worn off. Has it? Has it worn off? Four big dump truck loads of firewood <laughs> brought down. Because I think we're good for two years. <laughs> Wood heating energy from our own land. Very excited about that. How y'all doing? Good? Back at the pole barn. On the way out of the pole barn, you remember there used to be a fence here? Janky old fence. We took that fence down. Used to be a, look, pretty much a ravine of a creek. Well, we, we, we piped it. We're filling it in. We'll easily, more easily access our pasture. Also our elderberries. There's gonna be a better chance that we're actually gonna go get them. Remember this platform for our butchering shed? Had all that, well, the wood chips were right there. <laughs> Massive pile of wood chips. It's all gone. It's gonna be graveled. Print strain over there. It's all coming along. All right, let's, let's see about these cows. It's good to be back with you, even though it's just one. <laughs> I love her. I'm not sure she loves me back. You don't love me back? You don't want to hug? You don't want to hug? You don't like to hug? <laughs> let's see if she's going to plug up this morning, huh? Now, oh, she's going to plug up for me. See, dude? Yeah. So I don't start Not too bad, yeah. I know, it's so easy. You know he's adorable. One of my tricks, Papa. Look at that little coming. pot belly. Little belly calf. I like this calf. I like you, Maple. I like you. Feels so nice. Well, we came back to two and a half gallons there and maybe almost a gallon here. That's a lot of milk. She's still going strong. You know what this means? Three and a half gallons of milk. Hey, the beautiful one. What? 
Did you order those uh, two by six by sixteens yesterday? I didn't. Oh no. Was I supposed to? Didn't you? You said the GBS order was coming. Well, I just asked you, but you never responded. I texted. I never got it. Uh, must have not happened. When's that coming? Today? Call my dad. He's gonna pick it up. He has to pick it up because he couldn't get delivery. All right. I don't know if Big Daddy would put 16-foot boards in his truck. The text I sent back to Rebecca must not have went through. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hey, would Big Daddy put, I know he's going to GBS, would he put two by six by 16s in his truck? Six no. of them? Or should we get Randolph to get those? You have to because you can't get 16s in a six foot bed, you know. That's what I figured. All right. All right, let's see if Randolph has, is still in town, one, and if he can pick these up. Hello. Hey, Randolph. Hey, hey. Good, are you still in town? Yeah, I'm fixing to head back. What do you need? Uh, do you think you could pick up six, two by six by 16s at GBS? Yeah. All right, now let's see if uh, they have the lumber. Good morning, GBS. John Shepard, may I help you? Hey, John, do you guys have, uh, say, eight two by six by 16s in stock cedar? Well, let me look here for you, Justin. Thanks. While we're waiting, there's two things stopping us from getting the animals in the deep bedding. Hay, we're gonna run out of hay on Saturday. It's a hay dependent solution. And two, this lumber so that we can build our gates in the front to get them from the bedding to the loafing area. And then I guess there's three reasons. And that's the rest of our setup. Our there is no tip of at all out there right now, Justin. Okay. When do you think you'll have it back? It should be here within the next day or so. We need the the configurations from Tractor Supply. It's coming by carrier. So it looks like it's like in a carrier limbo waiting on the carrier. Cause they're like 16 foot gates. So three pieces have to come together for us to get these animals in there. It's not like we can just go buy hay. We insist on non-sprayed or organic hay. And it actually gets, uh, we have a hay dealer that trucks it here and he doesn't think the truck will be here till like Saturday or Sunday. And from my experience, it wasn't like firm, so it's probably gonna be longer than that. Meaning, I found, I found some, what you call, what they called organic hay, but it's only $5 a bale. I mean, that would be a great price for organic hay. Almost too great of a price. So it's almost like you've, either it's cruddy hay or it's not really organic. And then, but then that's like an hour away and unless they deliver, I don't have a means to go pick up, say, 100 bales. So, what it means is I'm gonna have to put my cows on, keep rotating in them in the pasture. We do have grass, I was hoping to let it rest over the, over the winter. You see there's grass here, but it hasn't recovered. It's still chipped from when they, uh, they grazed here, and I would just love to not hit this again until it's recovered in the spring, but, Ah, what am I gonna do? I don't know. And I can't, I can't go have the guy an hour away just go ahead and deliver it because you got, you got to look at that kind of stuff before you just say, oh, just bring it. It looks like the graders are now gonna do our long-lasting damaged drainage culvert here, whatever you call these things. Oh no, they might be searching this. I don't know. They got a smaller. Oh, let's see what they're doing. They got a smaller bucket. They got that bucket off. I thought they were digging this thing up. See how the water sinks in next to that? This this capture here has been busted. And so water is able to go through that instead of being put in the uh, the drain where it's supposed to go. So it ends up flooding. It looks like they're gonna work on the French drain on, under this platform. If, if we're thinking we might, if we get this seeping area fixed, it might actually fix this seeping area. 
which is bogging down our driveway here. Looks like they're about to dig the ditch along through there. And then I'm gonna put a French drain in it. It'll take this wet weather spring out of here. Nice, nice little drainage ditch there. We got a little bit of water right there coming up. Yeah. That could have been the source of the whole thing, huh? Well, it don't take but this to trickle over months yeah. and months and months, and then you get old wood and mulch and stuff yeah. piled on top of it. Yeah. So you're pretty happy about this? Yeah, I think this will be fine. And Mark's coming back with some gravel? Yeah, he's bringing a load of clean snow back. Okay. They've dug up our wet spot, and it looks like it was seeping out above our French drain. About three feet. Yeah. So this, are, this is the end of our French drain right here, right, Fred? Yep. And then it, it turns, was seeping up up there. It turns up a hill right there. Yeah. That old one does. So they've dug up the, the soil and they're going to put gravel in. We're getting near the end of our projects. They're going to dig up this old culvert drain. getting towards evening I'm dressed up we're doing a little uh, pregnancy photo shoot uh, I see you dressed up <laughs> are you sure you don't want to change the sweater oh I'm not gonna wear this sweater oh okay so let's review what Fred and the graders did we've got a working drain we've graveled our little access road up to the cows he's put big old gravel to our Access, this was a wet access access to our upper pasture. Hey, look, Jonah, if I want to go from there to my pole, I can go through here now. I can walk right through the field. <laughs> no perimeter fence. No, no perimeter fence over here. No ditch. Look, check it out. Well, there is a little bit of electric wire. Got to get up. But look at this. Used to be a creek right here. Walk right over. Jonah pointed out that, hey, this could serve as a parking lot. When we have a party, I mean, we're gonna grow this in grass, but hey, if we have a party, people can pull in and park this way. Park several people right here. And this, this is my legacy bit. A pole barn, equipped and ready to go. A loafing area right in front. Nice retainer wall. And that will be a, uh, a pumpkin garden. This is gonna be a nice system right next to the house. Jonah, you and your kids are gonna thank me one day. I'm walking on gravel not mud trucks can easily pull in and then back up unload our hay no more white spot here Jonah no. he's fixed our turnaround spot and gravel for our pad for our butchering station that's a lot of work in just a few days we're establishing this homestead it's foundation mecca Hey guys, don't get too dirty. We're about to take pictures. They're playing in the greenhouse. We've never had maternity photos taken, so this is it's a new thing for us. <laughs> I guess with the fifth kid, you do all the things because this is the last one. <laughs>